I wanted to do some movement detection. People were asking about like how to make red light, green light. And so there's various ways you can do it. I think we're going to go from like just detecting when you move forward and backward or sideways or whatever to like detecting like hand movements and stuff like that. I played these games before. We're going to use a thing called vector magnitude. So the primary way that we, you know, do like physics stuff in rec rooms is with vectors and vectors have two kind of components to them. The direction, which is the X, Y, Z component, like where is the vector pointing? Is it pointing here or there or there? And then you have the magnitude, which is kind of like the length. Let's say it's pointing here, but it's length 50. So it's pointing there, but it's going out 50 that way. so to start off we're gonna need it kind of like constantly monitoring so we're gonna need either an update or a 30 hertz receiver something like that we're detecting the magnitude of how fast we're walking around so we're gonna need a get velocity we're gonna have this run on the local player systems all right so if the player is local then we want to check what the magnitude of this vector is so we're gonna get magnitude Okay, and then this is gonna equal a number. So right now, if I hover over this, it's almost zero pretty much, but if I start moving, it goes up to one, 1 1.5, and it doesn't really matter what direction I'm going. Let's do greater than or equal to one. I'm just putting these here for demonstration purposes. So right now it's running on the local player system. So every, every player that's in the room is gonna have these running on their system and it's gonna check what the magnitude of their velocity is. Now, right now I'm not moving, so this should be false because it is less than one, right? And then if I start moving, here I'm gonna move lightly, and if I start moving fast, you'll see a switch. So that's detecting just, just walking movement. And then you can make this more sensitive. What if it's like 0.1? And... God, that was like, as soon as I touched it, oh my gosh. When I turn, it also detects it as movement which I did not anticipate. Now we're gonna switch focus a little bit and make a very simple red light, green light. And then once we integrate that, then we can go into detecting hand movement and head movement. So what I have here is I have get the color of the light. If the color is red, then this is true. And since it's true, then make it green. If it's not red, which would be green, cause that's the only thing it could be, then make it red. So this should flip flop back and forth between red and green every time it runs. So what I'm gonna do is put a delay behind this and it's gonna kind of choose when to make it red light and green light. Now we need a variable that we can say, hey, only worry about checking person speed when this thing is red. So we're gonna say, if this is true, then worry about checking. And if it's not true, then don't worry about checking. And then we can do something like player moved. If the player moved, let's just respawn them. I'm just gonna use set position because it's just easier to do. As a matter of fact, we don't even need this event now. I think I was thinking about authority, and I guess when you get into an actual full game, you would need to think about authority. This is good enough for our demonstration purposes. Oh, it's red. I can't move during a red light. Turn green. Turn green so I can move. <laughs> Taking so long. Okay. All right. I can move. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Hold on, let's turn you off. You're dangerous. So yeah, I have it setting the position back to, to zero if you get caught. So then for detecting other movements, we've got to worry, I think about our head and our hands. So let's do left hand velocity and then let's do right hand velocity. I don't know if there's like head velocity, orientation, position, forward vector, get up vector. Oh, there is a player head velocity. And I think it's pretty much the exact same deal. Clone this, clone it again, clone it again. Let's do greater than for all of these. If any of these are true, then, then you're gonna be respawned. So, or that's four of them. So add, add. All right, uh, put that there, this here, this there, this there. So if any of these are true, this should go off. We're gonna turn our red light, green light system on again. So if I move my hand, then I get respawned. And then I had to mess around with the sensitivity of the head measurement in order to get that to work. You'll just kind of have to determine how sensitive you want all these greater than chips to be in order to determine how much hand movement and how much head movement makes it go off pretty much. Hopefully you guys learned something new today. Do all the things for the video and the algorithm and whatnot. And RCL man out.